Hello, I'm Laura Marshall. And I'm Melinda Rose, and this is Light Matters for July 18th, 2012. On this week's show, IR light is harvested more efficiently, a Spintronic OLED promises brighter displays, the neutron beam record is broken by a short pulse laser, and metamolecules change chirality under light. Using special molecules as antennae to capture weak infrared light energy, scientists in Germany were able to harvest IR light more efficiently. The chemists and materials scientists used inorganic materials from rare earth metals and attached organic molecules to them to act as antennae. The antennae transmitted the energy to the nanoparticles they were attached to, upconverting the energy of two weak photons into a single stronger one. With the new system, the process of IR absorption, upconversion, and emission of visible light is increased by a factor of 3300. Applications include solar cells, as about half of all the solar energy reaching Earth is in the infrared wavelength, and medical imaging. They are now trying to increase the amount of IR light captured by the system. Another group will incorporate the nanocrystals with antennae in solar cells to test the practice. The research was published in Nature Photonics. A new spin-polarized OLED from the University of Utah emits light in the orange wavelength and holds promise for brighter, cheaper, and more environmentally friendly LEDs than those now used in displays, lighting, and electronics. The Spintronic device uses an organic semiconductor and stores information using the spins of the electrons. This was enabled by the team's previous creation of an organic spin valve, which they modified to emit light as well as to regulate current flow. Spintronic OLEDs, which can be brighter than regular organic LEDs, can be controlled with a magnetic field rather than requiring more electrical current to boost intensity. Current OLEDs produce a particular color of light, such as red, green, or blue, based on the semiconductor used. The new spin OLEDs could be a step toward creating a single device that can produce different colors when controlled by changes in magnetic field. Before the devices can hit the market, they will have to be made to run at room temperature. They currently operate at no warmer than minus 28 degrees Fahrenheit. They expect it to be possible within two years to use the new OLED to produce red and blue and eventually white. The study appeared in Science. The largest neutron beam ever achieved using a short pulse laser could lead to more advanced materials measurement. Neutron beams are typically made using particle accelerators or nuclear reactors and are commonly used in a variety of scientific research, particularly in advanced material science. Now a group from Los Alamos and Sandia National Labs and Germany's Technical University of Darmstadt used LANL's 200 trillion watt short pulse laser Trident to generate the largest neutron beam ever created. Five times larger than the previous record, it requires less than a quarter of the laser energy. This record neutron beam has the speed and energy range that makes it an ideal candidate for radiography and a variety of high energy density physics studies, the scientist said. Using short pulse lasers for the production of neutrons can open the field of neutron research to universities and the broader research community in general. Inducing natural materials to change their chirality or handedness by making structural changes is a weak and slow process, but a team at Berkeley Lab has kicked it up to light speed by using artificial molecules. The ability to observe or switch a molecule's chirality using terahertz electromagnetic radiation is a coveted asset in high technology. The discovery holds potential for a range of terahertz applications, including biomedical research, ultra-high speed communications, and homeland security. In contrast to previous demonstrations, where chirality was merely switched on or off in metamaterials using photoelectric stimulation, the Berkeley Lab team used an optical switch to actually reverse the chirality of their terahertz metamolecules. With the ability to flip the handedness of metamolecules and control the circular polarization of terahertz light, scientists could use the technology to detect toxic or explosive chemicals or apply it to high-speed data processing systems and wireless communication. The findings were published in Nature Communications. Well, that's it for this edition of Light Matters, the industry's only weekly newscast. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what you like or don't like about our program. We welcome your comments and suggestions at lightmatters at photonics.com. You'll find links to share and subscribe to Light Matters by clicking the Share with Friends button on our video player. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.